Welcome back. The Member of Parliament for Central and South Eleuthera, Hank Johnson, says that the island is in need of additional medical tools and resources. The 180-kilometer kilo, 180 island is home of approximately 11,000 people and a popular island destination in the archipelago. With domestic and international borders now open, Johnson says that they've acquired medical items needed in the case of a COVID-19 outbreak. However, there are still more areas of public health sector or more areas within the public health sector that need to be addressed in the event of a worst-case scenario. One of our priorities at this time are medical system, medical facilities needs an upgrade. Um, we do have um, issues with the health system, okay? Um, we really need that fix more than anything else. I asked the government, I pleaded to the government many years ago um, for 24 hours, fire and rescue. We have right now the Man of Faith is doing an excellent job along with the Hayes team, with the fire department, along with the ambulance service, and they are giving as volunteer. And for the amount of work that they're doing on this island, we have reached the stage now where we need a 24-hour fire and rescue service throughout this, this island. Um, we need upgrades, and every government department here needs some attention. And as COVID-19 cases increase in the country, Johnson says once upgrades are put in place, he's hopeful that the island's economy will bounce back. We have the view that once we get the improvements in our facilities during the, the boom, which we're expecting to happen here, um, we will be ready to take on that challenge. And um, just before the pandemic, our economy picked up. We were doing extremely well um, here on the island of Eleuthera. And so... If we can get those things done, I think we'll be well on our way.